Hello Flosstube, my name is Jani and <laughs> this is a crochet with me video <laughs> um, originally it was to be a, a stitch with me but I decided yesterday to start this uh, crochet project um, so <laughs> and I was really really excited so I decided to continue with with this project but you know we can talk about cross stitch um, doing some <laughs> crochet and uh, the thing is I was um, I was stitching on, on Zelda yesterday and uh, I went for a cup of coffee and and there is a, a yarn store near to the coffee shop so I decided to visit <laughs> but originally I, I was even looking I was not looking for a for for yarn I I was looking for those um, little instrument where you put the yarn and you know make the bobbins uh, because I got um, last week a, a cone of DMC of white DMC and it's a very big cone there are like um, 2,000 yards of floss and I will be dying that floss but I, I was needing um, you know like a little instrument to to make the, the the flosses you know like little rings of, of floss so I can dye it, uh, that that flosses and then um, make smaller um, skins so <laughs> I was looking in the in the yarn uh, store something that I could use but I couldn't find anything uh, the good news is that my dear husband uh, build me a little um, thingy <laughs> what, uh, where I can you know make the, 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 the skin of the flosses so yeah um, I will insert a picture here of what I'm talking about but <laughs> because I don't know if I make myself uh, clear <laughs> so you can see it so yeah I was you know um, asking the, the lady of the yarn store about the the thing that I was looking and I decided to to get this uh, beautiful jar and this uh, variegated uh, jar and I start this little project I will put in the description box a link with the tutorial the video video of this shawl it's really really easy and the thing with these projects is uh, that you just repeat uh, two two roads I mean one road is the one with the with the shells and the other road it's the one with the the change chains chains <laughs> so it's really really easy and it's one of those uh, shawls you know uh, a tri triangular triangular uh, shape 
so you can do it as large as you wish or as small as you want and I decided to to get one one uh, yarn in this aqua color and one in this blue very similar with the the, the colors in the variegated uh, yarn so yeah it's really really easy and kind of <laughs> relaxing and you know I could have a, a finish <laughs> soon because all my project my stitchy projects are really really large <laughs> and that's something else I, I usually don't um, stitch small things I don't I don't like to stitch you know small things and well I have a, a few smalls uh, that I've been stitching and last week that I uh, did a little makeover in, in here in my craft room I display my my smalls uh, in a more pretty and a nice way but yeah I usually just stitch you know really large projects so I don't have uh, as many finishes as I wish <laughs> and but yeah it's a I, I been trying to to stitch um, small things but I feel like I'm um, wasting my time <laughs> I don't know and I prefer you know stitching in my large mirrors and now in my endless sampler so but uh, with this with crochet I can finish a shawl in two days so <laughs> I feel motivated again and yeah the plan was to the original plan was to stitch on Zelda all, all this weekend I had two days off from the office so but yeah I, I love to make plans and then <laughs> throw them uh, to the window <laughs> so I I, I decide instead uh, do this little crochet project and but hopefully I could finish this um, tomorrow or tonight and on Saturday and Sunday uh, I will be stitching on Zelda I, I am really enjoying uh, stitching on her and I mean she's obviously a beautiful project but I love the the rhythm of Zelda I don't know I find it so relaxing to stitch uh, and I made a huge mistake <laughs> on her on the top part of, of her dress and all the the design is uh, one stitch uh, shorter <laughs> but I don't care <laughs> I will um, you know fix it but yeah I'm, I'm really really love stitching on her and I was even thinking on I don't want to to finish her because I want to to keep stitching on her it's so enjoyable but yeah I eventually will finish her and and yeah I was you know trying to precisely find my my joy again because yeah I have been this couple of months a little off <laughs> a little you know sad and uh, hormonal <laughs> yeah. so yeah and I was um, you know uh, precisely with with this yarn I was um, talking to myself <laughs> like you don't need no more yarn and you have a lot of projects stop it but at the same time I said you know what I, I love it and I want it and 
that brings me joy and I will finish it and here I am so that's the reason <laughs> why this video is a crochet with me not a stitch with me so please <laughs> don't be mad and I I love watch uh, this um, crochet uh, videos or tutorials I find them so so relaxing <laughs> and and I learn how to crochet with you know in the internet and with videos and I don't really I don't even know the name of the of the stitches <laughs> I mean um, of course a chain well it's a chain but this uh, double crochet or or single crochet or triple or and, and even in in the United States and in England the, the names are different in here in Mexico there are also have different names uh, and I don't really know how they call them but I know how they do it and if I see a video I can you know replicate it <laughs> because that's other thing I I don't know how to read the the pattern the, the crochet pattern I find it too difficult I, I don't know I I never learn or uh, I was never taught uh, nobody really teach me how to <laughs> how to do it so I you know just start doing by by looking at the videos and another person <laughs> but yeah <laughs> at the end I, I I I really enjoy doing crochet and it's mm, it's really quickly it's a really easy process because the basic stitches are always the same and you move along the, the project really really fast so yeah <laughs> I mean it's a, a lovely a lovely activity and I, I also learned how to to knit with you know the, the two needles but again I was not properly taught how to do it so <laughs> I, I and I find it uh, more difficult and more time consuming and so yeah I then I, I watch um, many of, of the floss tubers also um, you know do cro crochet or or knitting and they they do all this um, like lazy and really flow uh, projects really really pretty and I don't know how they do that <laughs> but I guess I if I really wanted I could learn also from from videos but I'm happy with my crochet and doing this uh, easy and pretty simple um, design so and also I, I love to to do this um, shawls and scarves and you know s s small uh, items <laughs> and uh, finishes finish them and give this away with um, you know as gifts for my for my family uh, for my mom my sisters my my sister-in-law I I love to make them this uh, these shawls and these scarves and that is something that is different from my stitching I don't like to <laughs> give away my my stitching <laughs> I'm sorry I'm the Scrooge the Ebenezer Scrooge of cross stitch 
but I'm, I'm really selfish in that <laughs> in that aspect but crochet I can give it away really really fast and really really easy <laughs> so and that's why I, I wanted to to finish this um, because it's really you know like a fresh light uh, shawl and I can wear it tomorrow um, we are going to to go with my parents to a little cottage that they have and and I can you know take my new shawl because it's the weather is really nice a little warm but chilly in in the afternoon so the shawl will be great and I'm sure my mom will love it and I will <laughs> give it to her so yeah <laughs> that will be a nice gift so yeah I wanted to to finish this and yeah it's as I say it's something that bring me joy and yeah lately I've been <laughs> been needing that uh, one two three four five um, yeah I was having you know tough tough time but I'm getting better I'm getting better <laughs> and then I'm, I'm watching I uh, well I I always watch I always enjoy watching uh, floss tube and everybody uh, share their beautiful projects and finishes and I always enjoy uh, watching those videos but again <laughs> when you are in that kind of, of mood or you know you feel like uh, you are not doing uh, good enough, you know, you're not doing enough and everybody's finishing and everybody's having um, Such a lovely and beautiful taste and and uh, you're you know a stock so <laughs> Yeah, I am I always try to be a, a positive person, but Yeah, sometimes it's harder than others but it's a process it's a process and I don't know if I will be uh, if I will be putting uh, the finish uh, picture of of this project but I will be sharing the picture in Instagram um, I usually put all the stitching progress and stash and things in, in my Instagram I don't really use um, Facebook I mean I'm in a couple of, of um, groups stitchy groups but my my personal Facebook I don't really use it for you know for stitching stitching pro purpose it's more like uh, personal and family stuff so sometimes I, I receive um, requests for my Facebook but yeah I, uh, I don't really have much activities or stitching related activities in there so uh, perhaps you could uh, follow me on Instagram it's <laughs> I have uh, a lot of pictures there
and ah yeah and all of this of um the instagram no the facebook pro profile was because uh, i've been um i was trying to join um some uh stitching groups and you know in the when you ask for for um to to enter a group um, sometimes uh, the the administrators administrators ask um, or they they look in your profile in your Facebook profile that if you have um, you know stitching uh, related picture or you know if you are really a stitcher in order to to get in in the in the stitching group but <laughs> many times i i don't receive an a positive answer <laughs> because when they look at my my uh, facebook uh, page i don't have almost none um stitchy related stuff <laughs> so uh always uh, now that I request uh, to enter some of the stitching groups I put my Instagram and or I, I wrote them you know you can check my my floss tube channel or I'm, I'm really a, a, a stitcher <laughs> I just don't don't share in, in the Facebook but yeah that happens <laughs> let me oops 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 and I usually don't uh, do crochet with this kind of, of yarn because it's really um, like skinny thin and also the hook the hook is 2.5 millimeters and I usually do crochet with uh, six six and a half hook and more uh, thicker with thicker uh, jar so but yeah I'm really enjoying uh, this um, the colors are very very pretty and it's really light so <laughs> and right now I have a little um, disaster area here in my <laughs> my room because uh, I have my uh, Zelda and the project bag and with all the flosses and everything and I'm uh, I will try to to work on the on the cone of DMC in order to make the 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 skins and I have some uh, paper tags that I'm doing for the skins and um, <laughs> and I want to do everything at the same time and because I have uh, this um, two days off I wanted to <laughs> to do many things but I didn't count on a start <laughs> and do a, a crochet project I mean what's wrong with me and also I <laughs> I wanted to record a, a video and um, I I had a um, already recorded uh, video in Spanish, so I already share it with one of the of the talks with the Spanish teachers. I I do these uh, videos like uh, like Gerald Ginger Gerald uh, where I. Uh, 
interview or talk with with another teacher and yeah we we share that talk and it's really really fun i enjoy that so much and i had a few um pre-recorded so I have one in my Spanish channel right now. So yeah, I've been, you know, productive. <laughs> And this year mania is getting close, but I don't think I will be participating. I really don't want to to add that extra <laughs> pressure. Uh, so yeah, I I will be loving uh, watching all of your videos and your projects and your progress and everything. It's really really fun to watch. But yeah, no, I I don't think I will be participating. Um, I probably probably will be starting something because me <laughs> but without a, a plan or you know a stitch mania uh, tag uh, just just because I, I I decided at the last minute to to do something you know and I, I did stitch mania two years ago and I haven't <laughs> touched those uh, projects since two years ago <laughs> so yeah <laughs> a little sad but don't remind me that because <laughs> I will be sad because all of you finish everything and I don't. <laughs> so don't get me start on that. And I will be needing to to do some packing and prepare my bag for the weekend. Uh, the only thing that I need is my stitching bag. <laughs> uh, a few clothes, clothes, and a bottle of. Stoli, Stoli Snaya, my vodka, and that's it. <laughs> Ready to have a great weekend. Yeah. I don't know if I uh, will be able to record uh, something there because, you know, sometimes you just want to enjoy the moment, to be present. But that's why I can promise you. But if I if I do, I will share some footage for the next video. It's really pretty. Um, it has a, a lake near to the cottage, and it's it's really really nice. Uh, The views are really, really, really pretty. And as usual with my family and my mom and usually all moms, <laughs> me included, uh, we love to make a lot of, of um, food when the family gather. So it's going to be a lot of delicious food. And 
and that's it <laughs> and fun and so yeah it's going to be a a great weekend it's like the the third time that I'm trying to record this video because uh, my kids were here and they were screaming and you know <laughs> having fun but and I, I start talking about something and but I don't I can remember <laughs> and now I don't know if I left um, something out uh, most certainly I do but the good thing is that I was recording and knitting and recording and knitting and <laughs> so yeah okay I'm going to to try to to put this video uh, for you to to watch my my knitting and my my talking <laughs> um, I will put the the link in the description box of this tutorial it's really really easy and really pretty if you know how to to do crochet and I will be crocheting a little more and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.